Hey, how's it going? So the hot topic for today is assist tier lists in Dragon Ball Fighters. I thought I would throw my two cents into the hat. Uh, I'm going to explain the reasoning why I've got the placements for the assists as quickly as I can. And if you've got any sort of uh, trials and tribulations after that, obviously feel free to share in the comments. So first of all, very, very easy GT Goku assist. It just covers an angle where... The opponent's forced to stay grounded. If they're airborne at all, they're basically lost their turn when it when it's called. I think that the hit stun's way too long on it. Uh, I think the assist is fine. Functions very similarly to uh, base base for Jesus assist, but uh, obviously base for Jesus assist just doesn't have. Um, the, it's just not as easy to confirm from. Doesn't have the same sort of just solid beam coverage. Uh, it's just like a little thing on the screen and. It, whether that hits them or not is different so yeah it's the best assist in the game it's pretty hard to argue that and uh, i would expect it to get touched slightly in certain areas uh, i don't think it should have its angle or anything touched i just think it, it should just just have its block stun reduced so that um you can just get out quicker so maybe the duration also has to be uh, reduced uh, kid boo uh, another one this is this is an interesting one because you know people would say kid boo and go tanks a similar assist but the thing about kid boo is if it hits someone it's a little bit easier to convert off especially if they're on the ground because it just it just hits them it, it literally just freezes them still it's a lot like uh, old 16 uh, hits stun assist you can just run up and confirm and uh, the other thing is this gives you a way of going high low on opponent without needing to do um a, a special cancel it call an assist then then go high or low uh, you can literally just call kid boo assist while you're doing a string neutral jump and then sort of go for either high low or uh, air dash um overhead again and um at least the low you know if you just if you neutral jump over it will like the the block stun on this assist will cover that whole time so that if the opponent does decide that they want to guard cancel you can basically just just full combo punish with a huge huge damage starter and this is just something that gotenks assist can't do now gotenks assist is still extremely powerful and i'll go over that assist when we get to it but um it just like gt uh, assist um he to go kid goku's just in his own league of what he's able to do so king of neutral king of lockdown um number one and two i think that's just it just makes sense uh this was a real tricky one to get in order because uh, all of these uh, the, the beam and yamcha assist are all extremely oppressive in their own right and uh, it's difficult to you know uh, say which one's better i've put yamcha better just because of the block stun um obviously the start up of yamcha assist is much faster it's better in scrambles and things like that so Yamcha's assist for me is just super, super good. You, you know, the block stun on it's so strong as well. Whereas with beam assist, you know, they've got good block stun and whatnot. Uh, and they've got much better, faster screen coverage in terms of it's just a solid horizontal beam. But the block stun, you do have to keep your strings tight if you really want to um, get get air dashes in there and stuff. But obviously the beams, they, they're really good in combos. Yamcha's really good in combos. So like... Pretty much that they're so, so similar that that's why they're together. They're still, you know, if you're playing this game right now, if you look at any competitive team, you will see one of these assists. You might see two of the assists. You might even see three. Like GT, Goku, Kid Buu and Yamcha is, is a super solid team, you know. And they all work well, no matter what formation you have them. Obviously, you don't want Yamcha point, but in general, you know, if you've got Yamcha out front, you've, he's got two great assists backing him up. So you can't really go wrong with any of S plus tier in making a team. Try not to have both Goku and Goku Black on the team, but you know, if you just want to win neutral, why not? Um, <laughs> it, it, it's an idea. So there's my S plus. Obviously, they just they're just there because they're unique in just how good they are for combo structures, uh, like especially the Dragon Rush Enders and things like that, and the fact that Beam Assist vacuums them sort of to the perfect height for Dragon Rush. It's almost like it was designed that way. Block Storm and just how they cover neutral. So now it gets tricky because that's the easy part. So let's go over the other assists in the game. What it is is with a lot of these assists. Is they're super good in one aspect, or maybe even two aspects, but then really let down um, by a, a another aspect. And as you go down the list, it kind of it kind of builds. So, 
Freezer assist. Now, freezer assist will be up here somewhere. It's actually godlike, but it's it's let down in two areas. It's massively strong. It's crazy strong. But since the recent patch, the block stun got nerfed to the point where it's almost like trunks assist. It's not quite. It's similar. It's similar. But it's not. It's not as let. It has more block stun than trunks assist, but it's similar. So it's very difficult to get a mix up from it. Very difficult to jail from it. You're pretty much just looking at. Uh, string into special call it and then just try and try and run up and 5l as fast as you can uh, Some characters might be able to get like with Vegito and stuff pre-patch. Uh, I used to be able to um, literally get um, String into call freeze resist into 2, 2, 2 m or Instant air dash heavy and I could jail it, but I can't do that this patch So it's, it's definitely worse this patch And people the main gripe that people have with freezer is the assist is difficult, you know, to, you can't just go 6M call freezer assist. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to argue that that's not a bad thing, but the other stuff that it gives you, like, if your opponent's in the corner, that it's kind of the best assist in the game. It drags them down if they're holding up back. If they do anything disrespectful, it's going to catch them. It's got a good amount of hits done on it. It's probably the best assist in the game in the corner. It's fast. Um, that's the other good thing about this assist that people don't realize is with the freezer assist is you can pretty much nuke your opponent's assists. And if and if you're really sharp and on point and your opponent's being predictable, if the, if you know they're gonna call beam of light, you can just snipe the assist out, especially at round start. So it is a good assist. It's a fast assist. You get some conversions with this assist you cannot get with other assists. So because of that, I've got the assist just just here. If it had the block stun of just like most of the other assists in the tier, it'd be an S plus in my opinion. It's that good. Um, so Android 17 assist. This is obviously since the buff. This assist is pretty OD. It's like it's like a two in one with 18. Um, so 18's assist is better at doing the defensive side of it. It's better at sort of protecting you, but there's, there is that protection element still there. But then he still does have the hit component, and the actual hit stun off the hit component is just OD. You can get dragon rushes off of it. You can you can convert freezer discs just calling them. You, like you can literally go string um, into knockdown into 17 assist, call the discs, and they're still locked in there. The hit stun long enough for you for the discs to connect. You don't need to do anything else. Um, you don't need to cancel heavy into it or anything like that. You can just do it. Um, it's a very, very good assist. It's a two-part assist. It can protect you from stuff. So, if, like, if you're full screen, you can do something. Call something in assist. It'll protect you from anything coming in. You know what? I don't even know if it absorbs meter. If it absorbs meter as well, that's absolutely batshit crazy. But it's got a generous amount of block stun. Great hit stun animation. It this is this is this is a great assist. Like a great assist. Team Gohan. So this is for me the king of the DP assists. It's not as fast as adult Gohans, but it's got a generous amount of block stun. It it's sort of its actual action on the screen is it moves forward really well and fast. Um so it makes it really easy to, to go string into special call team go on assist and then either go for a mix or continue pressure the other dp assists in this game one of the main issues with them is they either come out too sort of far away this is this is the cooler problem um that it can be difficult especially if you're doing a fast advancing special to even get it out in time before you know before they come out of block stun from your actual special it, it's tough the other the other dps just aren't as good um team gohans is just in this, what since they, they patched it, it's probably it's it's, it's, it's the best one. It's the best one. Uh, base Goku. Uh, this assist is a weird one, but um, it's it's very good and it covers both sides. You can do things where you you can do a special attack like Goku Black's God Slice to fly across the screen, call base Goku assist, and if he's just in the middle there, you can literally trap someone in the corner, and uh, it's got so much block stun on it that you can um, go for some pretty decent mix from it and uh, yeah it's got great great it's just great like literally it's only problem which stops it from being in s plus tier is uh its speed it's a little bit slow on startup and it's the same with the gogeta assist as well but these are both od for combos od for combo enders they're tricky to get used to combo extensions 
But uh, once you practice and stuff, you can you can combo anywhere with these characters. This is and this is why they're they're here. The only main reason why Team Gohan's just slightly above these two is just because it's faster, and it and it still has a generous amount of hit, uh, blocks done on it. But uh, yeah, Team Gohan's got its own problems in combo routes and stuff. But uh, having a fast DP assist is is super strong in this game, and it's why Yamcha's here in in S plus tier because although it might not be a DP assist, it might as well be. With how fast it is. So this is going to be the first sort of controversial thing. Well, all of it's controversial, but this is the thing. Like people, Videl, so so high up. What's going on? But Bardock on Videl's assist really aren't that different. It really depends what you're looking for on your team. Bardock's is slightly better just because of how fast it sort of goes across and stuff. But Videl's isn't much worse off, and Videl's is actually in a lot of cases better for combos. So if you hit someone with Videl's assist and they're airborne, they don't go anywhere. She kicks them and they kind of just stay there. So for instance, let's say you're playing 21 and you do your sort of combo and you drop down and you call Videl assist, you can Dragon Rush off the end of it. You call Bardock assist, he's going to knock them flying. So they're very, 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 very similar. But Bardock still has the edge on it, but they both have decent blocks done. They both serve the purpose of basically super dash call assist and um Videl's is better for combos so that's why she's up here if she wasn't so good for combos i'd probably put her in a tier or a tier below but because her assist is, is so much better than Bardock's for conversions and stuff um or just in neutral in general because you've got to remember like if, if you hit some Bardock assist in neutral it's super hard to convert off of it so unless they're stood up. If they're, if they're stood up, obviously you can convert. But if they're jumping and they're jumping around and you just hit them, it's hard. But with Videl, you've actually got a shot. So that's why she's there. Gotenks assist. So Gotenks is, is a lockdown assist, same as Kid Boo. It's got its own issues, though. Although it's got some of the most unique combo routes in the game and you can get Dragon Rush from in the air, you can do that shit with Janemba as well. It doesn't make Janemba's assist top tier. The issue with Gotenks assist is the fact that it, it's got, like, two hits and... Uh, it's got like a pop-up on it So even though it's still like really really strong because of its sort of different little uses that you can get out of it um, f Like if you're just using it and they, they get hit sometimes it, it's hard it can be hard to convert off of it sometimes um, But it's still very very good It doesn't have enough lockdown for you to like protect against guard cancel a lot of the time when you're doing a lot of the setup So it's not not quite as long uh, blocks done as Kid Boo, but it's good enough. It, it's definitely a mix assist, and it's definitely a good combo assist as well. So that's why it's in S tier. I've put 18 here because if I didn't, I'd have all the 18 players just saying, "Oh, you don't understand how good it is. It's just different." Um, and and, and there is an element of truth to that, but um, I just don't see an assist that doesn't give you extended combos, um, being mega mega strong. Like 17s, it's got like a two function to it it can do both hers can just do the one but i do see how it can rob players especially in a high pressure setting and when you rob them you don't just get a light punish you get a 2m punish and that that's huge so i'll put her up here because i do respect the fact that this this assist has robbed people in tournament many times so now we're going to the next tier so this tier like all these assists are pretty good like you like if you've gotten this assist on your team any of these assists on your team is good enough to win a tournament. Like, none of these assists are going to let you down, really. But there's just a little bit funky in however they use. The block stun's not good enough. So let's just go over them. Zamasu, this is a great assist. It's a really, really good assist. Uh, its main issue is it's tough to get, like, a proper Dragon Rush ender that isn't an airborne Dragon Rush. So getting a grounded Dragon Rush... Uh, is, is a little bit tricky, so you're going to be forced to do aerial into slide knockdown, so you're not going to get maximum combo potential out of it, which is why it's kind of a little bit less than a lot of these ones, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's block stun's not the greatest either, so they're, they're the two points, everything else though, screen coverage and all that lot, it start ups a little bit weak as well, but it's still a great assist. Vegeta assist, now this assist used to be the best assist in the game, if you weren't playing Vegeta Assist in Season 1 and your name wasn't Sonic Fox, I don't know what you were doing because it was stupid. Um, but in this current variation of the game, although you can still use it and a smart player can still win with it, um, it definitely re requires you to be like much more ahead of your opponent. 
you're basically putting the ball in your opponent's call every time you use this assist. And then you have to like make the correct choice and reaction with it. Uh, a couple of interesting uses of this assist and Vegeta Blue assist. If you watch Zanxus in the uh, Fighters Tour, uh, he's an excellent player. He keeps making top 8. He plays Vegito, SSJ Vegeta, and SS, uh, Blue Vegeta as well. And the reason why it works is because Vegito's got excellent 2H. You can do this with um, Android 21 as well. You can do it with any character that's got a really high reach in 2H. Majin Buu would be good. Broly would be good. Just anyone that doesn't really have like a stubby grounded 2H is going to do a pretty decent job with these assists. And the idea is that you're doing that constantly. You're going, right, you do something. I'm putting something in your face. You do something. And every single time they do something and get it wrong, you get a punish. And this can be difficult with a lot of the cast, especially the ones that are stood still on the floor. Uh, Goku Black would be pretty decent with this one, although he's not. Yeah, I think actually Goku Black would be pretty sick on that team. Um, you, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wholly just defensive squad. And you just hope that your opponent just does drag, uh, does um, uh, dra uh, Super Dash or something and you just punish it. And it does work. It does work. He's proven that it works. The other, the other idea is Fenrich. If you watch Fenrich play with Vegeta Assist, he actually rarely uses it. He will hold on to it until the perfect moment or for the combo. And... Uh, it's just mastery. It's just mastery of the character. This is that's not saying oh Vegeta Assist is super strong. Look at Fenrich. It's literally no. Look how incredible Fenrich is at using at using this tool. Uh, it's still a good assist, but um, not having lockdown and stuff in this game, it's it's risky, and you need to build a team around it. Trunks is a very similar deal. He's got a good assist and stuff. Um, but the startups um, a little bit awkward, and especially how he comes out as well. You know when he when he lunges forward, he does get hit quite a lot by random stuff before it even comes out. But then the blocks done, it becomes this guessing game where you're trying to just sort of um, catch someone out. So you've got two options in this game. You can either just lock someone down to the point where like they they, they just have to block, or you can kind of call someone out. So with this assist, I'll call it and then I'll do. Um, then they've got a guess as an opponent. Did they watch out for the Dragon Rush? Or did they watch out for just me hitting them? So they, they, their option is Reflect, Tech, Mash, Super Dash. They've, they've got all the options in the world. Um, but you, it's up to you to make sure you've got those counter hit options covered. And I don't like that personally. You know, I think Trunks has a good assist. But it, I think it, it does need either faster start up or increase block stun to make it truly overpowered i just think it's balanced and that's why it's kind of in the middle here brawly yeah brawly's assist is actually really interesting uh the brawly versus 21 assist debate is actually something that both sides have really good points i prefer brawly assist personally because it's slightly bigger than 21s and it's slower moving and because of that i can approach behind it kind of like piccolo ball where I can call Broly assist and kind of just eat, edge my way in and then force them to block the Broly assist. Uh, I really like the on-hit animation of the Broly assist. 21's very similar as well. Both these assists are hella underrated and really strong. Um, but it really just depends on the play style of your team. If you're looking to do like cooler dive kick or you know fly across the screen call an assist, 21's fine. Uh, even Broly like chest charge because... The idea is that you go forward first and then the assist follows you in after and then you capitalize on the block stun. That's when 21's assist is mega strong. So, you know, think of like Vegeta's rocket kick. You rocket kick, 21 assist is flying in after. Brilliant. Broly's assist is more of a preemptive. You can pop it. You can do that as well, but it's not as fast. So it's not going to get to your target. But with Broly assist, you can pop it. You can sort of move with the, with the assist and it's a little bit safer. But both playstyles are, you know, uh, good in their own merits. And um, I think they're just both great assists. Really underrated assists. The reason why they're not sort of up here, again, really difficult to get a grounded Dragon Rush. Although you can get a grounded Dragon Rush. But at the higher hit stuns and stuff, it's, it's, it's really tough. So they're just not quite as easy. But, you know, in general combo stuff, really, really good. Now, I must admit, I don't actually play Cell, right? But I know it's a beam assist. I know it's good in the corner. But from whenever I've tried to use this assist. It's been really slow start up. It doesn't cover full screen. 
It covers like the opposite angle to GT assist, but it's a beam assist. So yeah, it's it's got a really awkward on hit animation. I'm not a massive fan of this assist, but people people say it's still good. I mean, it's still a beam assist, so I've put it here just out of token to the cell players. Really, personally, I'd put it like here, but I don't think it's that bad. And I think in the corner, it it definitely really moves up in power level. But yeah, it's it's, it's not a bad assist. Jiren assist. This assist is massively slept on it's so fast on startup the, the the like the only issue with this assist and this would this for me would move this up to like base goku level is if the opponent's got a beam or anything like that he just gets completely destroyed so we so what i'd like like a change for this assist is nothing to change at all but if he's out on the screen and he's actually started the animation with his blast that he like like 21's assist he will just remove the blast in front of himself it'll clash um because isn't that what the you know the the idea of the eye lasers is but maybe that's a balancing that they thought about already and they thought no that'd be too good um but in general yeah he he will get himself hit a lot but for combos and, and for lockdown this is this is everything that you'd want it's just a shame that it has got that weakness that um it's not got great range and uh, it does get trounced by the other assists but all the other stuff the box has ticked Adult Gohan, I hate Adult Gohan in terms of I just can't stand how he is. It's just, he's just pompous, I don't know. But um, his assist is, is good, it's fast, uh, but it's very close to the to the user's body. And it can make some characters' strings really hard to link into, especially the ones that have got far advancing stuff. Like, could you imagine doing Broly's chest, chest charge into it? Maybe you can. Um... Yeah, it's just a little bit awkward to use, but it's still a really solid assist, especially defensively uh, in the neutral. So it's a DP assist. It's still better than Cooler's, but um, just because of how fast it is. And and, and and that's it. TN, so a lot of people go, oh, TN's got a beam assist. It's well known. Actually, th this assist is more of a scrub killer than anything else. Uh, it's got really crap block stun. To the point where it's you can't really do string into special and then and then jail it. It's 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 like 20 frames or something. It's sim. This is why base Vegeta is here as well. Um, you kind of instead of actually doing like a, it's not a lockdown assist. It's not a lockdown assist. It's more of a um, um, like a like a counter play assist where you throw it on someone and then you try and get in. Um, but having said that. No, it's crap. It's crap. I don't even know why I've got it this high. It's got terrible on hit. You can't you can't get grounded dragon rush from it. Um, yeah, it'll catch some like it's got some interesting hit hit hitbox on it. Okay, that's why it's here. It's it's here because the hitbox of it's pretty OD. It can hit behind you and stuff, um, and 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 that can be valuable. But um, in general, the assist it's it's just like the worst beam essentially in my opinion. And that's that. Base Vegeta, yeah, it's trying to be GT Goku, but its block stun's not good enough to actually be counted as a lockdown assist. And although, yeah, you might hit someone up in the air, unless you're super dashing over there, you're not getting a conversion. It, it all, all that's going to happen is they're going to tech out, they're going to tech in a random direction, and you might end up getting punished for them getting hit in neutral. I don't like it. I think it's, I, th I don't think it's bad, especially in combos and stuff, but it's difficult to get a grounded dragon rush. It's not great for combos. It does. It is unique in how it covers neutral, but a lot of the time it's just going to reset neutral and your opponent's going to down tech mash, uh, bounce in any direction mash, DP out of it. So, you know what I mean? It's like, it's it's just not good enough. It needs, it needs, if it had great block stone or something like that, where it's like, oh my God, I can actually use this properly in strings and stuff. Um, I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is really good, but it's, it's just, it's just too, too weak in too many areas. Um, Blue Goku is a similar deal where this is just, is actually pretty good um it's like it's got good good block stun on it you can pro you can get a mix up off of it you can do decent combos off of it but um in neutral it's um it's just it's just where it, it's just weak like you compare this to all these other assists on this row and it's not even a thing but for combos and stuff very good for lockdown pretty good um so it's, it is a good assist and that's why it's here in s minus it's just it's just got that weakness of in neutral. It's it's not all she wrote really. It's 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 a little bit weak, but that's probably intended. So now we go on to like the worst assist in the game, pretty much. Uh, Napper assist is actually okay, 
but um, it's attached to Napa, so it's going here. I actually think it's not that bad of an assist, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's attached to Napa, so yeah. A hit assist. Hit assist is interesting. It's just not got a very big hitbox on it. It's okay for super dash plus assist stuff. It's got good block stun, decent speed and whatnot, but awkward on hit. Difficult to get a dragon rush from it. Not the best hitbox. Not got like the speed of the other like fat like these ones are here because although they're similar to these, they're just faster or they're, they're better for combos, and that's the difference. That's pretty much the difference. Cooler assist. I like cooler assist. Um, I play cooler a little bit, but it's a little bit janky on how it comes out. It could be a little bit slow, especially for a DP assist. It's okay. It's okay. It's very like it's just one of the things that if it does hit someone, it's, you're, you're usually in blocks on yourself because um, they've like blocked you first then he then coolers come out and hit them it's really difficult to get a conversion and then i end up trying to scramble for the conversion and then they break out and hit me whereas i i never have this problem with team gohan so it, it could be personal bias but um that's why cooler assist is here hard to get combos from it um in terms of like you know grounded dragon rush enders and stuff it's very much uh if you want to have super high damage on your team, you can only really have one of these types of assists. Your over assist has to be able to give you a very solid um, grounded conversion, or um, you play a character like Cell or something who can who can just keep perfect attack attacking no matter what the what the thing is. So it te team synergy is really important. Is, is the bottom line there? Uh, Margin boot. I look. I like Margin boot assist. I think it's cool. But when it comes to being in the corner and stuff, the hit the hitbox really lets it down, and the on hit is just it just launches them in the air. Um, it's it's like Tian, so I've got a personal bias against it. I don't think this assist is bad. Um, it's got <laughs> it's like Freezer in the fact that it covers the screen and stuff. Um, but but where I don't like it is just it, it for me it just doesn't feel right with the startup how it is, especially in the corner. It doesn't look right because it's off screen half of it. I don't know. It's there. It's there for me. It's it's a it's a it's an okay assist, but it it's it it it's just not great. Um, 16. I mean, we've gone from being what here in the other patch, pretty much. I think people would agree. I think everyone would agree this was his assist before the patch, at least. Um, to you know, just almost like a worse trunks assist. It's got way less coverage. It's not bad. It's usable. But let's be honest. It's not great. And that's why it's here. Vegito assist. Ass for combos. S tier. Like maybe even S plus tier for screen coverage. But shit hit stun. Shit for a lot of combos. I love Vegito. His assist is a nightmare when you're trying to put a team together. And it's one of the reasons why I don't have him on a lot of my teams. It's just too difficult. It, it's just, it's a lot of work. If you can find a team like Subatomic Sabres has where the assist works great and it's just not a headache. And let's be honest, on his team, it's pretty damn good. Like, Cell, Cell's happy to just have that extra bit of hit stun. Um, does, and, 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 and you can hit them above him. Uh, where's Gogeta? Yeah, I think Gogeta and Vegito work pretty well as well very similar thing he doesn't care where the opponent is he just needs them in hit stun and vegeto covers that just doing abc with vegeto um and then calling it is difficult you know like if you do um 2m 5m and you do your jump air magic series and you want to bring them back down before you use your smash uh you can do it but it's so like specific why would I, I can pick Yamcha and do it first time every time and I can go 2 and 5 them after a, like like as a relaunch with Vegito I'm struggling to get anything other than like rejump into just jump L um th but again like the reason why this isn't down here is because of just how good it is as a defensive assist it's so good at just if you just if you're just if you just want to just say hey chill out to your opponent for a second and you just pop this assist and they cannot do shit other than super dash or reflect and obviously if they super dash that's a huge risk if they reflect that's a huge risk so there is some application to his assist but but the combo side of it and 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 just 
it, and the and the way it works on the hit stun side of things in terms of it's just it's got a horrible bounce on it, not enough hit stun. If they added more hit stun to this assist, I would move it up here. I I would probably have it here with more hit stun. And I'd be like, yeah, imagine having freezer assist. Um, yeah, you can super dash through it, but it's much better. And, you know, you can convert off of it. But at the moment, it's just like, yeah, you might hit them out the air or something. But Jesus Christ, good luck getting the conversion. Uh, outside of, like, you know, playing 21 or something with a huge 2H. Very difficult. Piccolo, similar deal. Piccolo's like a slower assist. It's like Broly. I compare it to Broly. You pop it and then you move behind it. It's got some interesting, unique combo applications, especially with SSJ Goku. But it's the same deal where every time you pop this assist, you have to predict what your opponent is going to do. And against someone who is lesser skilled than you, you will be able to come out on top. But once you get to the point where you're uncomfortable fighting someone and you're really, really, really having to dig deep to uh, beat someone, it's 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 to the point where it's it's gonna let you down more than win. What, why not? Why have this assist when I can have the base Goku Yamcha or something, and I can just make my opponent guess every time I touch them? Whereas this one, it's like shit. Is my opponent gonna reflect here? But it's not to say it's a bad assist though. It's definitely not one of the worst in the game. It's definitely pretty cool and has its uses. But the more skilled the player is that uses it, the better it is. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you say about this one? Janembas is just awkward. Uh, it's not bad. But it's, the, it's, it's, it's it's just like a worse Vegeta one. It's pretty cool for combos. But I don't think... You don't put him on your team for his assist. You just don't. Uh, Blue Vegeta. It's actually not a bad assist. I actually would say this assist would be like... Here at least. Um, if it didn't pop the opponent up. So... At the moment... If they get hit by this assist... They just get launched in the air, and he's already in the air. So if they get hit by it, they're already in the air, and then they get launched even higher. So if you think it's hard to con convert a DP assist, it's even harder with Blue Vegeta. There's a healthy amount of hits done on it, but it's even harder to convert than most assists. And that's why, and you end up just having to super dash for a conversion if you if, if you can get there in time. And if you don't get there in time, well, they've got out for free, and you might be in a bad spot. Really difficult assist to use. Very predictable. Good for like setting up tick throw situations and stuff with dragon rushes uh, and, and command grabs. So it definitely has its uses. But the on hit is awful. Awful for combos. Awful for, for neutral the on hit. Um, but, the, but, the, but the assist in neutral just as like, you know, holding someone there or, you know, threatening stuff. It's actually really good. I'm, a, I'm actually a huge fanboy of this assist. But I have to face reality in its application, and it suffers in too many areas. Ginyu's a good assist, it's just too slow, and the on hit of it is a little bit like Bardock, so um, it's going to be really tough to, to get conversions off of it. But it's, it's, it's not, it, for all general purposes, it's not a bad assist. It's got a good amount of hit stun, but it, it, they just need to speed it up. Speed this up, and I'd be putting it right next to Bardock's here. Uh, and I'd be like, yeah, good assist, but it's too slow on startup. It's just, it's just that little, and I mean... When I say slow on start up in Dragon Ball Fighters, you know, 10 frames can be the difference, which is so short, but it really can. It, that can be the difference in a scramble situation between your assist connecting to your opponent or them jumping out or you getting hit. And, 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 that, and, that, and that's what I stress a lot. Beerus assist is actually pretty cool, but I just hate how close it is when you summon it. If when you called him, he came out ahead of you a bit more and did it, this would be an OD assist. OD assist. Huge block stun. Lots of application. But because of how he's sort of just behind. Like if I do string into base Goku elbow and call him. He's like behind me. And he just kicks the ball at me. No I want the kick. I want the kick animation. Give me that. Um, that it would even be fine. Uh, it'd be like a reverse Android um, 17. Where he would have the block stun at the start. And then you'd have like the super dash a bit afterwards. Um, yeah. I don't know. But I think I, I do think the assist is okay. Um, and it's definitely good. Like you can get dragon rush and stuff off of it. Uh, especially grounded dragon rush. It's good for combos. But uh, it's just awkward to use. And yeah, that's it. I don't, <laughs> but in all intensive purposes. It's not bad. Like none of the assists in this game are truly, truly bad. 
None of them are truly bad. It's just some of them are just harder to use than others. And then Krillin. Um, yeah, it, it's not a bad assist. There are some quirky things you can do with it. Um, a couple of people are finding out cool spark, anti-spark setups that you can only do with this assist. It, you know, it's, 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 it's not the worst in the world. But let's be honest, it's, it's not good. Like, I'd rather have Yamcha. Uh, you know, I'd rather have Broly's assist. It, 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 it's just in certain niche places, yes, you can use it. You can get decent combos off of it. You've got a couple of cool things. But the general use of it is he throws a rock. It's, it's pretty slow. And that's it. The Senzu be inside of it. Yeah, that, that might be like S. S. Yeah, I'd give it like S. I won't play S+. Plus, but the Senzu bean is pretty damn good. You know, being able to just recover blue life is uh, strong. But but it doesn't make up for the, for the rest of it. So that's my thoughts on the assists in the game. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you next time.